Fired up trucker here. Fired up trucker here. What's up, YouTube? Day four in the books. Thursday. Thursday, May 21st. So, I got a question for you. Kind of a hypothetical question. If you were in your fourth day, and uh, I don't know if I should put it that way. I'm just going to come out and tell you. So here's what happened. We got a few guys that are, uh, I guess, upset. I mean, kind of upset myself, too. It's holiday weekend. And, uh, you know, we're here at CDL School, and we expect to, uh, when I'm told that I'm going to be going to, uh, CDL school for two weeks. I'm thinking Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday, heck, maybe eight to five, seven to four, whatever, okay? Uh, and like I made my video yesterday, it has not been a grind, which is good. I mean, it was hotter than heck one day, and then today we went out and <laughs> people are showing up with their jackets. I came back to get a sweatshirt. I mean, it was cold. It was like 50 degrees. Uh, here's the deal. We, later on in the afternoon, uh, one of the main trainers asked us if, uh, he said, ah, y'all can either take off or ride the pilot with me to fill this truck up with fuel. So we said, ah, we'll, we'll ride with you. There was like four of us in the truck. So, uh, just in conversation, he says that, uh, he's going to be gone tomorrow. He's going to Nashville. And, uh... Then I said, then he said, you guys are probably going to have an early day on Friday because somebody's testing out at noon or 1230. So you guys are probably going to just have a half a day tomorrow. And normally on Fridays, I guess they only do like till two o'clock. And we've really only been here till like 330. I think one, I don't know if Monday we were there till four, but usually about 330 and it's, it's done for the day. So usually eight to 330 and we're, and we're gone. And that includes like an hour lunch. Uh, you know, it's all about being here and getting the reps in the trucks and the, in the, in the, in the backing stations that we're doing. And, you know, all the guys I've talked to that have been anywhere else, uh, besides company school, like if they went to a roadmaster school or whatever, they're just like, man, I know I wouldn't be able to get the reps like we're getting here. But still that being said, I asked him, I said, so how are we for Monday? Oh, you guys will you guys will be off. We're not going to be open. The only people that are going to be in the office are like the dispatchers or whatever. So we're missing a full day of training because of a holiday. Now I'm paying for this school, uh, which will be taken out of my check once I go solo. And my question is, you know, that's. Out of 10 days, that's a tenth of my training that I'm not going to get. Now, I'm sure that if at the end of next week, any of us guys, because, I mean, us guys are like wanting to go like seven days a week, right? Like Saturday, Sunday, the holiday, everything. We want to be in the trucks doing the, uh, you know, the different backing techniques that are set up at the driving range so we can, you know, get this down before we go home. And so, what do you do? I mean, other than be frustrated, uh, basically, here's what's going to happen. If if there's no way that someone will give us some time on the range, we're going to be sitting for three and a half days. If we're only going to work, if we're if we're only going to be in school till noon tomorrow, then we're off Saturday and Sunday, and then Monday's the holiday. We're off. I don't get it, uh, but you know what? You kind of got to grin and bear it because just about every step along the way in this process, there's been something now. I mean, and I just keep saying, make it to the next step, make it to the next step. And this is a pretty big step. I mean, this is the, this is the training that's going to help me get my CDL to go back to Dallas and take my, my road test and get my CDL and to be able to go out on the road with a trainer over the road for four to six weeks, probably six weeks, uh, 
you know, before I get test out and get my own truck. So anyway, it just kind of frustrating. We would, you know, us guys, there's, there's three or four of us that would just, that were pretty tight that we've been together every single day. And we're like, man, we wish we could just, you know, we'd, we'd go out there by ourselves. What are we going to do? We just want to go out there and drive all weekend. And anyway, it is what it is. I don't know what's going to happen, but most likely we're going to sit for three. I've even texted my wife and told her I might rent a car tomorrow and drive home. It's only six hours and go home. But then I'm like, you know, do I want to spend an extra $300 just to do that? You know? Anyway, anyway, it's a truck driver deal, right? Sometimes you break down, you got to sit. Sometimes you just got to sit to sit. Whatever. I mean, it is what it is. Uh... It's it's just all about getting through this, getting through this. The time goes fast. Tomorrow's already Friday. I mean, it, it's unbelievable. So when you're only there a certain amount of time, there's only a certain amount of hours in the day, uh, and it's a very short day. I mean, I would just assume if I was coming to something like this, to be in the club, you know, to be out there on the range eight, ten hours a day and half hour for lunch, hour for lunch, whatever, and five days a week, six days, whatever it takes. To me, that's going somewhere to get the get the knowledge. That's a seriousness. But going in at eight o'clock and getting done by three, three thirty, noon on a Friday, you know, taking a weekend off, taking a holiday off on a Monday and only having four days left, and to me that ain't it just ain't a serious deal, so it's kind of like you feel like you're getting gypped, but what do you do? What do you do? You make a video and you freaking get it off your chest. So anyway, besides that, everything's been great. Uh, what did we eat today? Today we had Chick-fil-A. So pretty good little lunch every day. You know, whatever. It is It is what it is. But uh, still working on the backing techniques. That's what we do. Every morning we go out. We do pre-trips. Uh... We do uh, air brake test, and we just do the techniques. So there's only one technique I haven't done so far, and that's alley docking. And uh, I think one of the guys has done it, and he goes, "Man, it's tough." But anyway, you know, it just you get out there, you do it, you learn the technique, and you just do it and do it and do it. So come Tuesday, uh, you know, us guys that were here this week, we'll be able to just basically go from station to station to station probably have two or three guys in a truck and then the guys that were in orientation this week that got hired will be out on the range next week so and there might be some new refreshers that come so you never know hopefully not too many guys show up so, we, so it's not too crowded but next week sometime we will uh he'll take us out on the road and we'll he'll go over shifting and we'll do some shifting do some driving then we'll do some city driving or whatever kind of driving whatever he feels comfortable letting us do but uh anyway hopefully it all comes together hopefully it's enough to get me back into dallas and get my cdl anyway fired up trucker here i am still fired up you know this is just a it's just a thing that's all it is it's just a little rant little thing and uh you know fired up stay fired up stay focused stay free keep the end result in mind that's what's important and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Get down below, give me some comments. Like the like, share, uh, come over and subscribe to the channel. Friend me on Facebook, Jim W. Hammonds, and join Fired Up Truckers group on Facebook. See you on the next video.